Hi guys, Prashant here. In this video, I'm going to share about remarketing. I'm not going to share about the basic remarketing. I think you find a lot of material on the internet uh, regarding the implementation of Google Ads remarketing on your website. I have a website which is called Make Market Website and I'm, insta and I'm using a WooCommerce site here. So I'm going to show you the entire process step by step so you can follow with me and implement this at ease in maybe a couple of steps. So this is my website. I'm going to the shop page. Right, and uh, I've deployed all these tags to a tag manager. So if you go to my tag manager, you see the lot of tags that I've deployed. So and all of them are getting triggered on my website based on the tags and triggers that I've using through tag manager. So I will take you through personally all of them. So this is my product page, the shop page. So see how remarketing works is generally when people come to my site, we capture them in one list called all visitors, and then we try and show them ads. So what happens is when you have those people in your list, you create a campaign and you create one static ad and that ad will serve to everybody in your list. For example, I create one list called all visitors and I have like 10, 15 pages of my site. So whoever comes to any page, they fall in this list called all visitors. And when I create one campaign and ad group and add uh, a one particular ad with one message and I target these all visitors, what happens is everybody will get to see the same ad. But when you implement something called as dynamic remarketing, what you can do is you can pass the information to Google saying he did not just visit my site, but he also visited a site with this information. So you can pass the information from your website to Google about the entire information about the product and what all pages he visited. So I will, I will take you through the entire process for that. What you have to do is you first go to, uh, you first go to Google ads account. Let me minimize this. Yeah. And then you go to something called tools and then you go to audience manager and when you go to audience manager Google will first give you a code that's called the basic code the first code uh, we call it GTAG global site tag and uh, you go to audience uh, sources here you find the first option where it says Google Ads tag and this is where you can find the tag and you can set up using uh, this option so you see this okay now you see this you see this you know you know, I, my, my code is not just passing the information that a user came to the site. It is also passing the information about the product ID, the page type and all the transaction values, you know, that are captured on my website through a data layer. So I am doing all these things through a data layer that is up on my website. I'm capturing those values in my tag manager by creating a, a data layer variable and capturing these variables into those variables. Right. So you see this. So the same code, you find it here. So generally, if you don't implement, you'll find nothing here. You'll simply find people came to the site. That is simply a page view. But here I'm not just interested in capturing a page view. I want the entire details about the pages he viewed, the value, the product ID, the page type. And if he's completed a transaction, what's the value of the transaction? What's the ID of the transaction? Order ID, order value, you know, all, all the products that were part of the transaction. So I can capture all these things. Now you see, this is how you set up. And uh, see, you, 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 see, you go to the code here, you find the normal glo glo global site tag. And apart from that, it is asking you to send the values. So what I've done is I'm not using this hard coded technique. I'm using a Google Tag Manager. Now, so you go to my Google Tag Manager account, you see, there's this Google Tag Manager. Yeah, so, so I have a code deployed called Google Ads Remarketing and I'm using Google Tag Manager to deploy the uh, all the code. So I've just selected the tag type as Google Remarketing and here, you know, what I've done is I have used a data layer. And if you go to my website, whatever page you go to, for example, imagine you come to my page, okay, the product page. When you come to my product page, when you come to my product page, what happens is you go to the data layer on my site. The data layer will actually hold You see, when I click on data layer, you find all these informations being stored in the data. This is my data layer, right? And when you read through my data layer, there are certain objects in my data layer. That is where all the information about the products that the user is actually viewing, they're all captured here. So what I have done is I have, I have created one data layer variable here and the name of the data layer variable is remarketing data. And I am using this variable to capture all those values in the data layer. So I'm using this uh, Google remarketing, I've given the uh, the conversion ID that I got it from this place, you see. And apart from that, I'm, I'm, I'm using other information. I want this other information to go through this code from the data layer. So this is the variable that is holding all the information from my data layer. That is this data layer. So you see, 
uh, Google Tag params. So what I've done is I've just come to my you, this is a, and I've implemented it on all pages. So let me show you what is this variable about. So if you come back to my variable section here in Google Tag Manager. You see, I've used it. And here I'm, I'm calling that particular variable from the data layer up on the website, which is Google Tag Params, you see. Google Tag Params. And this variable, this, va this everything up on the website is here. And I'm capturing all of them in remarketing data. And this variable remarketing data I'm using in the tag that I'm using to send the remarketing information to the Google server, you see. So once this is done, what happens is I've come to my page, I refresh the page, right? You, I just I just came before you. So if you come to the Google, do you see? You see two requests, if you click on this, all the information is, is going. Right? And not just this, not just this. This is only the information that you have here. But if I happen to go, click on add to cart, And click on check out so this is going to send the entire entire data which is captured in that variable remarketing data that I've created so you check out no the, the entire details is pre-filled so I just click on place order this will take me to the transaction page and on the transaction page you have other codes getting fired as well and one of the other codes that get fired is specifically talking about Google is the conversion. I will show that as well. You see, same Google remarketing, but you see here, earlier it was only three, three information, these three, but now it is capturing all the other information. So this way what I'm doing is I'm sending all the information about the products or the pages they've seen. And not just that, if they happen to purchase, I'm even sending the information about the transaction and all the information related to transaction. So the same thing you can find here. If you go to my tag, you see all these are, are already recorded and when I create a, a audience, when I create an audience, for example, see, when I create an audience here, there might be a basic list which calls all visitors. Even if I'm going to use this list, what happens is Facebook is not going to show the, the same, sta uh, the normal uh, uh, one image to everybody. No, it is going to use the information that I'm sharing and bring the product information from the merchant center and that is why we call it dynamic remarketing because to implement dynamic remarketing what you have to do is you first have to implement if it's a retail website e-commerce website you have to have a merchant center and you have to link your merchant center to the adwords account and when you create a dynamic ad campaign when you create a campaign it will ask you a small feature called dynamic ads you just select that feature no prashant i'm not into e-commerce business i'm into education business so what you can do is you can upload the same uh, data that you're uploading to merchant center in the form of a product feed you can upload to business data section here when you go to business data section here you have data feeds you see when you click on this particular data feed you feed display ad and then you can upload here right so when you create that, it'll ask you to choose if it's an e-commerce site, it's going to be a merchant center. If it's not an e-commerce site, then it'll ask you to choose a, a feed that it wants to uh, get connected to. So that is how dynamic ads will work. And this is specifically done through AdWords. I'm not even talking about doing dynamic remarketing through uh, Google Analytics. If you want to implement dynamic remarketing through Google Analytics, again, it's a big process. It's again easy. It's a big process. So what you have to do is you have to implement the data layers from the data layers. You have to capture those variables using Tag Manager. And then from Tag Manager, you have to inform analytics through custom dimensions. And once they get to analytics from analytics, you have to pass them to AdWords through dynamic attributes. So this is the entire process. But again, this is this is this is easy for somebody who's having good experience. So if you want to learn about these in-depth techniques, you can absolutely subscribe to my channel. I'm going to share all these in-depth videos, which would be kind of very helpful for you if you're working at an advanced level. And um, and and all these things are taught in the bootcamp. We run. A digital marketing immersive bootcamp so if you're interested in learning all these in-depth skills and uh, and and work for a company at a level that you can't generally get to as a fresher bootcamp will help you it is going to give you so much of in-depth subject that by the time you're done with bootcamp anybody would ask you anything about these in-depth topics you would be able to handle this is generally unheard of from freshers but that is how intense that is how in-depth the bootcamp is going to be so if ever you're interested in learning digital marketing Bootcamp is a place. Digital marketing bootcamp from Make Marketing is a place. 
and stay connected go watch other videos on my youtube channel and uh, we're happy to help you if you have any questions you can absolutely walk down to your office thank you so much and prashant here from make marketer thank you